everyone. Morning. Welcome to day 16 of our travel series to Orlando. Oh, you nearly. Did, you did Orlando. Orlando. Um, <clears throat> nearly done now. Oh. It's really sad. Last full day. Last full day. So the plan is now we're just in the car ready to go to Volcano Bay. It's 20 past nine. So we should still get there for early park access. Yeah, that's before 10. Yeah, b between nine and 10. Hopefully it's not too busy and we can get to go on some good slides. <clears throat> I know that Volcano Bay are quite strict with you filming on the slides, so we probably won't be able to do much of that. Yeah, um, we'll use the phones and stuff for yeah. some of the filming as well. Yeah, so. exactly. So we'll do that and we'll take you along with us. Um, but we'll start the video off as well by saying don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and also comment down below and follow us on Instagram. Um, and we'll take you along with us now. What normally takes five minutes, it's probably gonna take half an hour to get to Universal. I mean, we don't know why, but it is crazy busy all, all back there. But it's not a public holiday anymore. Yes, they said that it's still busy today because people take the Tuesdays off. Uh, I don't know if you heard that, but Ollie said that people take the Tuesdays off. That's what somebody was telling us last night at Disney. But it, it just seems crazy. So, I mean, hopefully it won't take too long, but at this rate, we'll be waiting a little while, I imagine. Well, we finally parked up. Took us about 35 minutes to yeah, get long time from our hotel. Volcano Bay doesn't look busy, but um, but the park parking the park. lot's dead. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's literally in the first two rows of Spider Man. Yeah, but the um, um, the rest of the park, the wait times are crazy already. Yep, yeah, Hagrid's is two and a half hours. Um, so yeah, it's just I, I don't know. It's very busy. People, when they drive up to those um, booths to get the park in, they're all just, they're all just like, don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, they have like so much time to prepare when you're in sat in traffic, but anyway. Yeah, but it, some, a lot of people pay with card now and so the cash, don't they? And that I just does take longer. But, so, nothing we can do, we're on our way. And of hopefully it's not too busy here. If the car park's anything to go on, then it shouldn't be. Hopefully. So yeah, excited to be back at the bay. First and time and only time of the holiday. I know. Normally we would have de we would have been way before now, wouldn't we? Yeah. Can't believe we're going on the last day. Exactly. But it should be nice and chill, hopefully, and lots of fun. Go on some slides, get in the fearless river. So yeah. Yeah. All that good stuff. I'm just gonna get on the shuttle bus now. It's a universal one, the volcano one, the phase one there. So we're getting on this one today. We're in. Well, well not yet. We've got to scan our tickets, but the shuttle's we're at Volcano got to see Bay. It. Yeah. Woo. Can't wait to see the bay. Wait, wait, we've got the tabu tabu. Tabu tabu. Um, there's, there was like no queue to get in, which is good. Oh, there's a little sign there. That looks new. I've never noticed that before. I've never noticed that. There must be a new photo op. There's the volcano. Woo! Do you want to go tap in for crack towel straight away? Yeah, but we'll have a look, see if it's a wait or not. Oh, I'll show you the bay. Here it is. We're all sorted now with the lockers, um, all creamed up. So basically, um, we paid for a locker and one of them, it just wouldn't open and there was nobody here so we had to wait for somebody to come and like, sort it out and fix it. So it's nearly half 10, so it's taken us an hour basically, no more than an hour to get in, get ready, get get sorted. Um, but it doesn't seem too busy, we've tapped into Krakatoa, that was only 20 minutes left now. Um, so that's all right. So yeah, it's gonna be good fun and we're gonna swap to the phones now, so. Obviously the quality may be a little bit different. We're gonna go on the Taniwa tubes first. We're gonna on the is it the green side? Yeah. The green side first. We're near the top. Okay the bay, woo! Ollie carrying the tube as always. I never carry them unless I have to. He's the designated tube carrier. Oh, we're off.
we've done the tiny water tubes, we've done the blue and the green one. Yeah, it's um, cold. It is quite cold when you get out of the water. The water's heated though, so that's good. Um, we're gonna, our Krakatau time's been called, but we're gonna go on the Fearless River first, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna head round there shortly, um, try and do some filming and I love that, it's so much fun. So, yeah, good two slides for so far. Yeah. We're going into the Fearless River, Tayawa. Let's go. It's just so much fun, we've spent so long in here. Standing for a towel behind me. Ollie's not coming on this one, so I'm gonna wait on my own and meet him, after, meet him afterwards. But I'm sure it's good fun still. Nearly there now. You get a cool view of the uh, volcano there up here, which is awesome. And you can see the people going down the um, slide and then coming towards the end of it, coming down the last slide as well. <laughs> Done um, Mayfew, the big the yellow one. Big yellow one behind us. I'm not we sure didn't if, weigh enough. <laughs> yeah, we didn't weigh enough, so we had two um, other people with us, but that was fine. Yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah, it was it was a lot faster than I remember it being. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I enjoyed that one. So, yeah. and we've just found out why I googled the Punga races because when I remember when they first opened Volcano Bay, you were allowed to go down them. Then they changed the weight requirements to be yeah. like really low. So we tried to get on it before like a couple of years ago. Uh, we even, allowed. You, even you weren't allowed, were you? Um, and now I think that they've changed it again so anyone can do it well if you weigh under 136 kilos. Yeah, because I saw a man coming down at the end and I was like, oh, they changed it. So um, we're going to maybe try and go on that if we're able to. But we weren't allowed to take on the phones, I don't think, because it's, no, it's a body a slide. Body slide. So they said no phones, uh, no phone cases on the body slides, yeah. but the raft slides are fine. So we, I couldn't, I couldn't film on the um, one that we just went on the orange one because she was like, took it into your shorts, and there was yeah. other people with us. And by the time I was like trying to get it sorted, but it was over. So, anyways, we're gonna head back to the lockers and then probably go on a couple of slides where we can't take the phones, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. And then we're probably not too far off done by. Leaving, I don't think really. No, probably another hour. Yeah. 
we're leaving Volcano Bay now. Bye Bay! Ollie's just on the phone. Um, had a really nice morning. It's getting really busy now though. Um, so we always like to just come relatively early, stay for a few hours and then leave before it gets too busy. Um, it's home until five today and I think it's about just before two. So we've been here a few hours, which is nice. Um, we went on the uh, Punga Racer slide as well, which was good fun. We don't know who won though, because you can't see um, when you get to the end, but it doesn't really matter. So yeah, we're just heading out. Um, I think we're going to head to Universal quickly just to get services to ask a couple of questions about our annual passes. And then, not really sure what the plan is. Maybe go to the park, maybe go to the outlets. Um, but we do have a reservation for Ford's Garage at four o'clock. So um, we've only got a couple of hours to wait for that. So we don't have too much time. Um, and that's right near the outlet, so no doubt we'll check them out again today. Just on City Walk, um, we just tried to speak to the guest services. Um, basically, what we're wanting to try and do is just get our pass slightly extended by a few weeks, just because um, when it runs out, it's like in the middle of September, it's just really awkward when we normally yeah. try and come and get time off work exactly. and things. Um, um, that, the first person from guest services, I don't think she really understood, did she, what we were saying? I'm not sure. So, and it, we um, decided to get a little voodoo pickup and we've got this little magnet as well this is the last one it was eleven dollars minus ten percent plus tax um so we've got a little voodoo to take with us we're not gonna eat them now obviously because we've got uh, the fords reservation soon but um ollie's just gonna try and maybe try and speak to some another team member about the passes and just see if they're able to do anything for us um so fingers crossed we'll see we went to the um other guest services and they um yeah they weren't willing to do it no. were they it's i think i think the problem is is that when we renewed there was a promotion that uh, allowed you to get three additional months for free on your annual pass when you renewed now we missed that promotion by a day not because that's when our passes were due to renew, but we got panicked because of the exchange rate. So then we rang up and uh, they were very generously happy to do it. But now they were saying, oh, because we've already given you a one-time exception extension, we're not willing to do it again, even though it's for different things. It wasn't really an exception because we renewed our passes and then the following, a few hours later, the next day, it was that offer was yeah. there. So they gave it to us, which they should have done really. But um, anyway. It's frustrating because obviously if it wasn't for that those notes being on the account, I think that they would have done it. Yeah, because we're only asking for like a couple of weeks or something or yeah. an extra... But hopefully, but hopefully they've just said that for those who are renewing, this might be some useful information for any, any uh, watchers and listeners, um, that they are keeping the additional three months for free for renewals, not for new passes for renewals until January. Yeah, hopefully we can make it out before then. Who knows? Um, so we've just pulled up to Ford's garage. We are 20, 35 minutes early, so we're going to see if we can just go in now because we've both I think hungry like and we've not had, eaten anything other than a bit of breakfast this morning. No, exactly. And then we're going to go to the outlets, aren't we, after? Yeah, um, well, we might nip into Target briefly just to see if they've got any sweets or anything like that. Well. Not that we need any more. We don't need any more. But, um, but there's promotions. So hopefully we can get into Ford's garage and have a nice early dinner. Just thought we'd show you this outside bit, it looks really cool with the old um, cars. So if you've been here before, let us know your go-to meal. Mm, I think it is quite a popular place, isn't it? But yeah, Ford's garage and we've got a Ford Mustang, so yeah. why not? And there's a baby lizard down there. A baby dinosaur. It's a baby lizard. Woo, scoochie. I've got this frozen strawberry cocktail, lemonade cocktail, which is really nice. Um, Ollie just had ordered a beer, haven't you? It's just not come yet. So we've ordered food. I've just got like a veggie burger and then Ollie's got a beef brisket burger. So um, yeah, we'll let you know when it comes. My veggie burger's come, so this is what it looks like. It's got um, some chipotle sauce, some guac on it. Um, this is Ollie's brisket bisque burger. Obviously, it's got like the little uh, stamp on the top. That's so cool. And then the onion rings. There's loads of onion rings. But that's a side of onion rings as well. So we'll let you know what it's like when we're finished. We've just come to uh, Vineland Outlets. This sign's proper cool. Um, it's really close from Ford's garage, which is just over there. So obviously, they have the few other shops over that side as well that you can go to. 
So we're just going to have a wander around here, see if there's any goodies, might take a look at the character warehouse. Obviously we'll try and show a few little bits if it's any good in any of the shops as well. Ollie's just on the phone so um, we'll review Ford's garage together when he's done. Um, but we're going to have a little wander. Well we finished at Ford's garage, um, finished quite a while ago, we've just been having a little uh, meander through the outlets. We also yeah. did ring Virgin. Um, to see if there was any way of changing the date of our flights and the reason yeah. we can do that is because Kieran works for uh, We won't say where but part of the Virgin brand so he gets like sort of preferential rates on things um, And it was just a, it wasn't horrific to change the dates. There was a small change fee But then there was the difference in fare the as fare well. difference. It was really expensive. That's yeah. why I, that's who was on Ollie was on the phone to earlier Yeah, it wasn't a horrific price, but it was just a bit more than we were prepared to pay for two um, days extra. For two days extra. It would have just ended up costing way too much because obviously we would have had to extend the car hire, book more hotels, the car parking back at Manchester. And we have had 17 nights. I think if we'd made it be only been here like 10 nights, we probably would have been like, do it. Yeah, definitely. Um, um, but, oh well. Anyway, Ford's Garage, really good. My burger was, I mean, mine was better than yours, wasn't it? Yeah, obviously mine was okay. Like the um, onion rings, like the nicest. Burger. Onion rings were pretty good. They were yeah. nice, but... Yeah, mine just was just a, me. Uh, yeah, I mean, just a pre-warning as well. Um, everyone that goes there, there is a 20% uh, service charge like that's put on your, your oh, bill oh, yeah. automatically. So um, they said that they, what they do is, because it's the team that serves you rather than just having one server, so it just splits between every every waiter and waitress. Um, but my burger was really good. I got yeah, the barbecue good. brisket burger, and it's probably the best one I've had out in Orlando this trip. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was decent. I think what we're going to do now is probably head to Mall at Millennia, because that's about a half an hour drive, and they're only open till nine o'clock, so only for a few more hours. And then we might nip to the International Drive outlets before we have to go back to the hotel room and pack. Yeah. We um, we did check the Disney outlet here, there wasn't but really there was anything. a lot of the stuff was the same, and then. We had a look in one or two shops, but it was nothing worth filming. So you'll have seen us go in and now you'll see us come out. So we'll catch up with you when we're at the mall and hopefully maybe we'll can get some little stuff from Bath and Body Works. <laughs> We've made it to the mall. There's Ollie. It's so pretty around here with all the palm trees and everything. So we're going to check out a couple of shops and then maybe go to the other outlet if we have time. And then we're going to go pack, like we said not long ago. So we're here. It's loud. It's very loud in here, actually. Very loud. We're going to head into Bath and Body Works, sanitizer time. Let's see what scents they've got. I know it's flavours then. Scents. Oh, it's always just, it always smells so nice in here. But they've got a whole men's, they've got a big men's selection now that's grown over the years. All these are 60% off at the moment. So you've got the soaps on, on the other side. You've got um, some of the wall plugins here. You've got loads of the body care. And then over here, there's um, more body care. Candles. We saw these the other day. Um, in the shot in another store, I think it was at the um, International Drive outlets. Oh, raspberry mimosa. Got a little sanitizer. <laughs> um, I, can't, I don't think anything here. I'm on the back. Oh, we might get some more at the outlet. Yeah, so we're going to the International Drive outlet now. Um, so we've got a couple of sanitizers, five for eight. One was what 75 cents it was on like a special discount they had a sale on didn't they 60 percent off um, loads of things yeah and then we've got a candle as well which was like 60 percent off a, a small one which is good yeah. so we're gonna leave more at the millennia because obviously we're not really bothered about looking at anything else here anymore um the a lot of the expensive stores and stuff we've we've been in so many times before and they're just more expensive than england now yeah a lot more so, because the exchange rate Yes, it's just not worth buying some of the stuff here anymore. Um, but um, we went to the MCM at the Vine and that had some really good deals on if you're interested in that whenever you come, if you know what that is. So we're at the International Drive outlets. So we've got some more sanitizer. Yay! <laughs> My sanitizer addiction is ongoing. 
So we're just gonna quickly go into the Disney store. Oh my God, it looks a bit ransacked in here. Princess outfit, dog things. What else have they got? They have so many clothes in here. It's absolutely ridiculous. So much stuff. What's over here? Mimeos, phone cases, some random pins, Marvel pins, more Marvel pins, Star Wars pins, more Star Wars pins, the limited edition pins. Some, a lot of these are the similar ones that were here the other day. So some of these haven't changed really. We're just in Levi now. So there's some jeans which you buy and get one 50% off. There's 40% off the majority of other things plus an additional percentage off already reduced items. So some of it's good, some of it's not so good. Ollie's just looking at some jeans. Just so, okay. Evening everyone. Evening. So we're back in the hotel room again. How many times have we said that in these vlogs? If you've watched them, maybe we should do a count in the corner. Um, anyway, yeah. we've been packing for what seems like an eternity. I will just turn the camera around now and show you. Ooh. It doesn't even look that bad when you show it, but it's no, taken us it's ages. Taken us ages. Um, we've had a movie on in the background. We've had the movie Twister on, which is obviously a shout out to Universal Studios, which we thought, oh, let's leave this on. It's um, like you're going home. Sorry. Yeah, exactly. Um, and we've just, yeah, just been doing that. Um, Last time we filmed was at the outlet, so we went into a few more shops after our, we filmed before. Didn't really find anything. We just didn't get anything. You didn't no. find anything. You find a t-shirt, but it didn't have your size. It yeah, was just yeah. a bit. Eh. Exactly. So it's been a, it's been a nice uh, last day though. We obviously did Volcano Bay in the morning, uh, which was nice because it was quiet when we got there, but it started to get busy when we left. And then obviously we went, did a bit of shopping. Had a really nice dinner. Well, I had a nice dinner at Ford's Garage. Yours was okay. It was, um, it was all right. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd go back, but I don't think you'd rush back, would you? I mean, I would, but I'm not like, oh, I've got to go to Ford's. But it's because mine's just a, a veggie a, burger. A veggie yeah. Thing, yeah. And it was just. It is what it is, isn't it? I've had better. Yeah. But so, chips but, were nice. But yeah. <laughs> and the onion rings. Um, and then obviously went to International Drive Outlets, Mollet Millennia, bought stuff from Bath and Body Works, and that was it. Um, so it's been a really nice last day because it's been a bit more chilled, and then obviously we've done the packing. What we're going to do is just chill now, probably go to sleep, yeah. and tomorrow, obviously, it is travel home day, but... We're going to try and hit it hard. We're not, we won't tell you what our plans are. We can leave that oh, as a surprise to tomorrow. Um, we're going to the parks still. We're, we're still going to the parks. We'll, we'll tell you that. Um, and we've got some big ticket rides that we want to try and get done on the last day because we don't have to fly home till really late. Yeah. Um, so we don't have to set off to the airport until six o'clock or something like that. So that's really good. Um, so we have all day to cram in as much as possible. Ooh, we, we shall see. Well, well, I don't mean like, well, we're going to try and do as much as we can. <laughs> anyway, we'll end the vlog here because this uh, uh, outro seems to have taken forever. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like the video, comment down below, and... Follow us on Instagram. Ooh, details will be on the screen. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.